familiar with fruit flavored candy, but what about candy flavored fruit? Mm -hmm. Two California farmers are enjoying the sweet success of growing grapes with unexpected tastes. One variety even mimics the flavor of cotton candy. Carter Evans visited their farm to see how they do it and what other treats they have on the vine. It's harvest time in the vineyards near Bakersfield, California. It's amazing how intense the flavor is this year. And farmers Jack Pandel and Jim Beagle walk every field tasty for ripeness. Right. <laughs> we take it right up to the edge. The tremendous flavors come in right at the end. And those flavors might surprise you. <laughs> tastes like cotton candy. It totally tastes like <laughs> cotton candy. <laughs> cotton candy is one of the grapery's six varieties. With names like gumdrops and flavor promise, they're specifically bred with one goal in mind, taste. You know, there's a reason that when you go to the store and down the candy aisle, that half the candy in the aisle is fruit flavored, because that's what fruit should taste like. But Beagle says taste is not a concern for most retailers. They want cheaper, they want bigger, they want prettier, they want shelf life. As small farmers, Beagle and Pandel thought creating better taste might be a way to stand out in California's $1.8 billion grape growing industry. The cotton candy flavor, however, was a lucky accident. When we first tried it, we would ship some grapes to a retailer and their sales would skyrocket and we'd sort of look at each other and go, what just happened? What happened was they teamed up with a fruit geneticist, David Kane, but the grapes are not genetically modified. Instead, Kane's lab cross-pollinates different species by hand. It's like going fishing or something. You don't never know what you're gonna get. Millions of cross-pollinations lead to tens of thousands of viable plants, but only a few produce truly great grapes. We get people asking if we inject cotton candy flavor into every berry, or if we spread cotton candy over the soil and the roots pick it up. It's none of that. The cotton candy grapes have developed a cult-like following. Fans post pictures online when they find them in stores, and the patented fruit is available in every state, but only from mid-August through September. Pandel puts his personal email on every package. I have never heard of a farmer getting fan mail before. As we get close to the time, the traffic starts to pick up. When are they coming? I drove over to the store, they didn't have them, and people almost get mad. And so it's like, please be patient. You know, when they're ready, we will send them. This month, their newest grape, Flavor Pops, is being taste tested in limited quantities in Los Angeles. It's like it's bursting in your mouth full of flavor. <laughs> it's delicious. On a scale to one to 10, that's 10. What we've tapped into is this emotional connection with consumers that they are passionate about things that taste great. The main question here is, when are we gonna get cotton candy wine? <laughs> we actually made cotton candy wine already, and I hate to break it to you, but it's terrible. What? It tastes like a overly flabby Chardonnay, and it smells like stale donuts. But it's the sweetness that makes cotton candy grapes taste so good. Weird, because you think it's gonna be like fruit, like a grape, but then it's cotton candy. According to Beagle, they're about 20% sugar, while most table grapes are around 17%. It's very candy-like. <laughs> they cost a few dollars more, but are packed with nutritional value. I never get tired of watching people taste cotton candy grapes for the first time. The look on their faces is priceless. And that makes the eight to 10 years it takes to bring a new grape to market worthwhile. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans. Bakersfield. Mm. I know before the segment I was told stop eating the props. Right. But that <laughs> cotton candy, that cotton candy grape is really good. It and he's right about tastes that. Tastes that way. Yeah, I, the one in you front of the moon drops yeah. even sweeter. No, not your. You'll thing? stick with the regular grapes. Well, you or can the pass wine. it over to me. I <laughs> okay, here you go. I wish they would come up with a way, guys, to do chocolate, chocolate, chocolate and grapes. grapes. Yeah. I like grapes. I try not to eat more. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's a whole bunch for you. Thank you. There you go. Very, very, very well done. Yes. Does it taste like cotton candy? Yes, it does. It does. Extra sugar you for you. Try it.